a fan of this um Cardi B and Offset drama, bro. I'm I'm not I'm not feeling yeah, I feel none you of on this. That. Now, when I be seeing these celebrity head, and, and you know this, Craig, I can't say how I want to say it on YouTube right now. But like I don't care about these celebrities. I really don't. But sometimes these celebrities do things that be bothering me. Not because I care about what they doing, because I know how many people watch them. And we got all these kids that look up to the, you know, IG, what IG did was make everybody feel bad about their regular life. So now everybody want to make their life look way more lit to keep up with celebrities they follow when your life ain't that lit. I know people that be in Madison, bro, you go to work, you do regular everyday thing, but every post that's on IG, bro, you would think they travel the world. I got people on like, I, I don't say nobody names, but you would think people lifestyles be that lit. He's bro. Gonna start hating. Yeah, it don't sound like I'm hating, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hating, because some of these people I'm cool with, I'm not hating. But I'm just saying, like, when you sitting here trying to perpetrate these lifestyles to keep up with people that really do have those lifestyles, but then they act as ignorant as the people that's trying to be like them, I don't like it, bro. Hmm. At the end of the day, y'all married. Y'all might be going through the divorce and all that, but y'all married. Y'all got a kid together. Just had. Just had a kid together. Regardless of what Cardi B might have been doing during the pregnancy, regardless of what Offset more than likely was doing during the pregnancy, all oh, that should have stayed between y'all, and that should have been y'all business. That one for none of us to really know about. We could assume, we assume we know what happened with Hov and Beyonce. We don't know who Becky with the good hair really is. We can assume they ain't gonna tell us. They just go out here and put all the business out here, bro. And when you got these young kids watching that, and I see it with kids wing celebrities, of course, or younger people, even people our age that be doing it. I'm finna go out here and expose. I'm sick of this exposing type of culture. I need to expose them let everybody know why. If that person is who you say they is, they only going to be able to hide that for so long. The, the, they actions is going to eventually reveal themselves. It ain't for me to expose you. If you was my wife and you was cheating on me or, you know what I'm saying, you did some stuff, I ain't got to expose you. Eventually, you will get exposed. And I ain't have to expose Diddy, but eventually, somebody going to expose you, bro. If you do a bunch of stuff, it will eventually come to the light. And I don't like them bringing it to the light because these kids see this stuff they think is cute. It's going even more viral. Now you, oh, who is he with? It's like, bro, I'm sick of these celebrities putting a dirty laundry in the streets and also itching on the people, too. Because you would do all this dirty laundry, all this all this mm-hmm. effery, and then the next week you will show me you out in Cabo. Bro, I, I want you to be stressed out. If you go through a divorce, show me you at home with no makeup, eating ice cream, being stressed. Play Atlas. But they, <laughs> I want to hear you listening to Atlas, not at the Ga- Met Gala. I don't want to see but that. But these, these two different generations that we looking at it at, I've been gave up on that a long time ago because I agree with you 100%. This is stuff we should know about, we shouldn't even be able to comment on, and as grown people, I shouldn't say grown because that might be assuming that they not. As older people, we um, looking at it like we wouldn't do that because we wouldn't want that for us. But they growing up in a time where this is what made them. This is what made her. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to. I don't want to. This, this is what made her. She blew up being loud on Twitter is as it was at the time blowing up um with the her boisterous personality on love and hip hop which we all loved and I still do to this day so you can't love it in some aspects and then not you know what I'm saying take it in other aspects if you're going to appreciate it one way you got to appreciate it the other way and I have to I just look at it like that's how they move I definitely don't agree with it but hey if you're going to put it out there then that means that I can comment on it. And, yeah, you kind of foul for if you If somebody smashed why do while you was pre- – just just hold that down. Just like you – like, if you cheated, you're supposed to hold that down. Ain't you supposed to be better than us? Like, I'm not even arguing on the get back, like, as a woman. On the get back as a woman, you're supposed to be better than us. You're not supposed to be getting get back because you're supposed to be better than us. You're supposed to do what we do. But when you do get get back, you're still better than us. You're not supposed to let us know, which is part of the you having to get back because now you get your cake and you eat it too. You know what I'm saying? If your dude out there doing that, you, you know what I'm saying, went out there, stepped out on him or whatever, and you probably set it up to where you could do it again when you want, but you still got 
this dude you emotionally attached to or you got love for. And if she really, hey, look, I got a, a warped sense of love. If she really righteous, she really only going to pull that card when you pull it. She ain't even finna rock with dude like that or mess with him like that, like just loosely. That's just, you know what I'm saying? Because she she love you, but you can't be wilding. And Car- she seemed like the type to be that much of a boss type to where that might be her. You had about seven of them. And then now I did it once. Now what? Oh, the most meanest way, though. Now, oh, this, the most this, meanest this, way. Can't I be actually, having my can't have my baby bumping heads. I actually was agreeing with, with most of that, what you're saying. But see, this is the problem with this. When it comes to um the get back, don't let nobody make you somebody you're not. So if I'm going to go get get back, that's already in me. It's already in me. You ain't make me go get get back. If I de- if, if to make me feel better, it's that I'm going to go knock something else off to hurt you. That's what's going to make me feel better. You don't love me. If you love me, you know what you should have did? You should have let me know how, how, how much I messed up by leaving me. Leave me. That's love. Like, damn. Like, you really going to hold me accountable for my actions? <laughs> That's love. Holding me accountable is loving me. Not saying, oh, you did what? You hurt me. I'm going to Bone Craig. Man. You going to Bone Craig? And Craig like, Queese? Now, that's vicious. Queese. Like she said. You she, was wrong? Like, nah. And it's only right? Nah. First of all, <laughs> two things, because I want to get to, just so I don't forget it, I want to get to what's worse, like, you know what I'm saying, of who she messed with or the type of dude she messed with. But just off you saying that, she said, I'm not going to mess with none of your ops or none of that. So she not going to mess with no dude that you know or you rock yeah, with. Yeah, she messed with Stephon Diggs, allegedly. That's just vicious. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's just, that's <laughs> just, I heard that too. That's just. Allegedly. That's just vicious, malicious, and she ain't never loved you with her whole heart anyway if she tried to do some stuff like that. And whoever par- helped her participate in that, they ain't never really rock with you like that either. But that's just that point. Um. What, though, is worse, though? Like you said, you brought up Stefan Diggs. So it's like, I'm tripping. And it ain't about, like, what's worse. Do you want the dude that's, if it was a dude that's doing better than you or worse than you, I'm tripping off of allegedly all this is allegedly that this is even the guy. But let's just say this is the guy or just use him as a type and then use the type as the alleged for this. He's allegedly this type of guy because I don't know him. But, um... I'm out here wilding. You see me, you side chicks, you hear let rumors, or I'm cheating, doing that or whatever. I'm a piece, I'm a POS dude, a piece of whatever. If you're going to cheat on me, you are supposed to mess with a square, somebody better than me that you could be like really with that's obviously better morale than me. Don't go mess with me on me. This dude is wilding out just like I'm wilding out. And now you turned yourself into one of his little woo-wops. And now I got woo-wops. And now you turn my wife into one of his woo-wops. And you doing it knowing that you one of his woo-wops. Oh, that hurt the most. I would goes, much rather you leave me for a wholesome dude than just be goes wholesome. right back to what I said. If you love me, you would leave me. You're not going to... You don't. You can cheat on me with what you think is a square. Back when I was, I would appreciate. I'll tell. So I'll tell you more. a story of Young Queese, right? Somebody I was dealing with, they they man was allegedly, you know, he he, he move and shake things, right? And to him, I had a nine to five, so he thought I can bully this kid. He couldn't bully me because he just assumed I was just this square that mm-hmm. you can bully. My point is, I wasn't ish. I was wrecking stuff. I was running through mad stuff. It just happened at this time is your girl, bro. But I'm wrecking stuff. I'm doing my thing. So ain't no such thing as no square. No. If you do it, that's in you. That's in you. If you love me, you're going to leave me. As a person that w- went through a breakup, bro, you know how long it took me to even want to be intimate yeah. with another person? Much less do it. Much less enjoy it. Yeah. Why? Because I was still hurt. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to marry me, leave me, because I'm I messed up, right? I cheat. You catch me. You hold me accountable. You pack your stuff up and leave. Nothing hurts me more than losing a person I love. That hurts. Mm-hmm. You going to knock something else down when I'm out here knocking stuff down? We basically in an open relationship. Yeah, you want to knock something down? Yeah, bring your butt home. I don't think All Set really cared that much because he wouldn't have been doing her dirty. All Set dirty too. Don't get it messed up. But and and on the same note, 
he did some sucker ish. Look, all I'm he saying, did some sucker ish so, too, and he know he did some sucker ish. To so your point of the, uh, square, not the to, you were saying like he doing you was working. No, you want no square, dude. You knocking it down. If you was, if it was my wife and she was messing with you, I'd have had the same feeling that <laughs> Stefan did. You out there messing with somebody that's just like me. I'm out here wilding. He out here wilding. I don't care if he got a nine to five or if he sell drugs. He not faithful. So if you gonna cheat on me or leave me, leave me for somebody faithful don't leave me for somebody doing the Who's same thing faithful? i'm doing you don't know he faithful and that's why i would be mad <laughs> that's why if you love me just leave me don't go knock nothing else down don't don't it, with my with my baby in the oven bro we not because that's see, kind now, of a disqualifier now, already now i don't we care what we going on some other stuff yeah. like now nah, this finna go left because you you really disrespect you trying to violate you and if it's, if anything if it's a square if it's a dude that's like nerdy that i think finna exactly. be faithful exactly to go <laughs> exactly and he might have to use his karate on me because i'm gonna fight that guy yeah. i'm not gonna test the dude that's wild and in the streets or nothing because you know smart but um <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a man, the bro. Dude that's, the dude that's a nerd messing with my pregnant wife, I'll probably fight him if I catch him. <laughs> nah, but you can't get mad at him on that situation. I know you're not supposed to. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You this is my pregnant it's, wife, I'm, I'm man. Gonna, I'm going to keep it a buck, right? <laughs> I know it's, I'm it's not supposed to. It's a mad situation to. as a man. You can't get mad at somebody for knocking down your chick. It's certain rules and codes to being a scumbag. Like, it's certain scumbag Not if rules. I don't know him. No, it, it is rules. and re- If you knocking down my wife and you knock down my wife in my crib, that's, bro, that, now nah, okay. You crossing if, the line. If it's I don't know you bro. and you or you in my house, if you or if, if you I knock, know you if you knocking you her down house, and yeah. she done pulled up to you and y'all in your car and you knock her down, she smutting it out. You yeah. doing what a man would do? I can't really get I mad. I still better not catch y'all though. I can't. If I catch my girl smutting out in the car, bro, she the smut. I'm wrong. I'm in the wrong. You know why? I should have never wiped this smut. <laughs> I wiped or, this smut. I thought up. you was gonna say I'm in the wrong because I followed her here. I didn't have to follow her. No, I didn't man. have to put a track on her car. Dang, well, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong because I pick. See, I take accountability for me. Before I start pointing the finger at a female. You're not just going to run into that. That's some stuff you stole. Oh. <laughs> it, no. it wasn't, look. Hey. It wasn't my girl. Uh, <laughs> it's stories. Yeah. What I'm saying is, that ain't my fault. You yeah. can't get mad at me because your woman had enough respect for you to come to my car. So mm. you got to mm. get mad at her. Not me. I'm respectful, bro. I could have knocked him down in your car. I did I have. Got, one time. Let me, let me stop. I did have. <laughs> one time bro. I did have somebody meet us. at. No, my, I'm not. I'm using it for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> I did have somebody meet us at my house one night after the bar and stuff. And that was absurd, I thought. Because it was like. Then called me after one of the answers. It was, what more do you, what do you want me to? <laughs> what conversation am I supposed to have with you, my brother? And, but, no, no, what do you want me to say? I wouldn't need no more info. I wouldn't need no, you found where I, and then pulled, and then, what do you want me to verbally say now? And I can't snitch on her, you know? There's nothing to talk about. You ah, it was rough. Gotta just let it be. Just gotta let it be. That's a fake story. That never happened. I'm lying. Um, yeah. <laughs> neither, neither did mine. Neither did mine. <laughs> neither did mine. <laughs>